And this year, we hope to see another video. We'd like to see some video from all of you who have flip cams and you know your uh, Blackberries or your mobile phones probably have some video capability as well. So, uh, so what can you do today? Well, whether you are on Facebook, whether you tweet, um, whether you uh, create your own videos, or whether you just want to take some photos with your cell phone, you can be a part of this action today. One of the first steps you can do is simply to go to um, the uh, causes, the, the Save the Children uh, page on causes.com and sign the petition. So as I mentioned earlier, you know, in the old days we had to spend a lot of time getting people to sign petitions. Today, you can sign online, and the most important aspect is to post this on your Facebook page and encourage your friends and family to sign it as well. That's what we talk about when we say going viral. It's not a disease, we just want you to get the word out there and to share it with others about what you feel passionate about so that they can become passionate about it as well. You can also update your Facebook status. I would imagine most of you have a Facebook page, um, whether you're one of the eighth graders here or some of their parents. Um, and so you can simply, one of the first things we talk about is liking something. So we'd like you to like us um, on Facebook. And then what you can do when you, and this is a sample here that just says, today I'm advocating for children at Advocacy, Advocacy Day in Washington, D.C. By updating your status and using this tag, at Save the Children, not only will it post to your page, right, but it'll post to Save the Children's Facebook page. And we would like to see that. The more activity, the more engagement, the better. This is something I really like. This is, again, and, and, and how innovation just continues to uh, help us do this. And this is Tweet Your Rep. And basically what this is, is if you go to this site, Google's made it very easy for us that you will see a map um, of all the senators who actually do use Twitter, right? And they'll see little push pins for every state where they are. Not every senator does that, but many, many do. So you can click on that push pin, and what will happen is basically a pre-populated message will come up that you can then use if you indeed have a Twitter account. So you do need to be able to, uh, to access your Twitter account. But you can immediately send that pre-populated message to your senator. So it's fast. It takes like two seconds. And it's another example of how things just continue to change. You can also tweet on your mobile phone. Here again is another sample message that we could use, and you have lots of information in your packet as well that gives you um, some sample uh, language. But again, one of the most important things that you need to know if you are gonna tweet today is to use this hashtag with the pound sign Advocacy Day, because what that's gonna do is direct all the traffic to where we want people to go to find out more information about how they can get involved. And if you don't have Facebook and you don't tweet, you can still use your cell phone to take some photos of your activity this afternoon. We really encourage you to take photos and then send them to your friends. They don't, you don't have to post them on your Facebook page if you don't have one, but we would like to see your photos. And quite frankly, you can email your photos to us because then we'll post them on Save the Children's Facebook page. So either way, there's a way for all of you, whatever level of social media you're comfortable with, there's a way for you to participate. You can still send a letter to Congress. It may not necessarily be the, the old-fashioned way with a stamp uh, mailed to uh, Congress, but you can go to our site, savethechildren.org slash stop cuts, fill in your details. Again, there is a, a, a bit of it is pre-populated, but then it also gives you an opportunity to add a very personal message. And I have to stress how important that is, because what we don't want is for the member of Congress to get a letter that says exactly the same thing. We'd like to have the essence be the same thing, and that's why you see some language already in there, but it is really important for you to add your own personal story or the way you personally feel about this issue and why it's important to you. And so I can't stress that enough.